have offensive coordinator Shannon Dawson. We'll go straight into questions for Coach Dawson. So how do you feel like the consistency has been here through this first week? Well, I mean, it ain't where it needs to be. I mean, look, we're, we'll make a few plays and we'll go backwards. I mean, it's not, not anywhere close where it needs to be. Our um, communication from play to play, the urgency that we need. I mean, we need to obviously be way more consistent than what we're doing. Doing some good things, but it's too up and down. We got we to gotta, we gotta clean up the, the stuff that kills drives. And so, but fourth practice too, right? Anything specific you attribute that to, whether it's just fourth everyone? practice, fourth practice. You have a lot of older players in terms of projecting who might be or starting. fifth, whatever one it is. Go ahead. The older players, do you, do you see a difference in their approach to practice? Oh yeah, like you can push those guys. No, yeah, no doubt. Guys? I mean, there's a look. There's a difference between people that's been here a while and people that haven't. And so those guys are mature. They push through. And practice is tough. It's meant to be tough. Uh, defense is, you know, going against our defense. I love it. You see everything. Uh, we're really good up front. Our old line is doing a heck of a job. Uh, that's very competitive every day. It's awesome to watch. But yeah, those older guys, man, they're, you know, they come to work every day, which is awesome. And we just need to teach people our culture here and how we practice, and they'll come along. Speaking of guys that haven't been here that long, um, just how has Sam Brown done the first couple, you know, practices, and how much do you think maybe having played for you in the past uh, has helped him adjust? Some, but I mean, there's some things we're doing here that are different too. So I mean, uh, there's a learning curve for him as well, and he's no different than everybody else. I mean, his effort's good. You know, makes plays here and there. Everybody needs to be much more consistent. Uh, but that group's competing, and so we have a lot of guys that are competing, and that competition in that group has has elevated, which is a great thing. And so those guys are, are fighting because you're fighting for reps right now, and that's awesome. Has Pecky Morgan developed a quarterback yet? What do you mean by that? One, two, three, four, five. They're all taking reps. I mean, yeah, I mean, we're, we're, we're just taking reps and, and going and heck, they're, they're the same way. I mean, a lot of good and some bad. And so, you know, it's, we learn a ton every day from practicing because of honestly what we see. And so, but there's been, there's been good, you know, and there, there needs to be more consistency like my man over here said at that position as well. With Elijah Arroyo, what type of dynamic can he bring off to the game? Yeah, he's a talented kid. I mean, he can do multiple things. You know, he's he's you know he can he's a good receiver. He blocks well. He, you can hand the ball to him. So he's he's got a lot of tools to work with. And so he just needs to keep competing, which he's doing. I mean, so just keep banking reps and getting better at the offense. And you know, again, he he shows up every day at times. Uh, but he's like everybody else. I mean, you know, can we be more consistent? Yes. Yes, everybody can. Coach, Obviously, you, you guys have a, a pretty crowded running back room. Um, how do you see using uh, Chris Johnson optimally? I mean, he's obviously got the insane speed. So yeah. How, how would you play? Like, assuming everyone stays healthy and everything like that, how, what would be your optimal way to use him in the offense this year? Well, I mean, we'll, week to week, we'll game plan and, and go play the game. And so he'll he'll be a part of that and, uh, as well as everybody that plays. And so he's got a unique skill set, which, which – uh, allows you to do certain things with him, but he really, he's really growing at running back, doing a lot of good things. He can do it all. He's not a guy that you put in there and it's a whatever, right? It's a you can run every play in our playbook with him, which is to me, that's a, the key, right? It doesn't matter what play it is, he gets in there and runs it, which is, he's he's doing that right now, which is awesome to see. How about Coach Damian and, and just what he's shown through these first? You know, you can tell he's a mature kid that's played a lot of football. He's very calm out there. Protections come easy to him. You know, he's very smooth. His um, ability to, to cut lateral movement on um, unblocked players is, is, you can tell he's played a lot of football. And so glad to have him. Uh, he just needs to obviously keep learning in the offense and, and playing with these guys and gelling together. But very glad to have him. He's got a lot of experience, which is no substitute for that. We expect Elijah Arroyo and Elijah Lofton on the field at the same time. I would expect everything. <laughs> when, you, when you have experience in your wide receiver room and guys you can trust, is there a number that you plan to rotate in the past that you Say have that one more time. When you have experience in your wide receiver room and depth, um, is there a number of rotation that you plan to rotate with the wide receivers? And if you earn playing time, you're going to rotate. You know, and if we look, we have to trust you. And that's the thing about rotations is everybody talks about this and that. 
you know, if we trust you and you're making plays and you're doing the right thing, you'll you'll rotate, you know. But that 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 falls on you too, as a player. You gotta you gotta show consistency and practice and know what you're doing. And so yeah, I think we'll have we'll have more rotations this year based on having more players that uh, that we trust and that are doing things the right way. And so hopefully we'll be rotating a lot of players. That way everybody's healthy. That's what I want. What are some of the like the statistical areas you feel like year over year where you guys can take, you feel like there's meat on the bone to take a jump? Everything. I mean, look, we, we made, in my opinion, we made a good jump, um, but turnovers weren't good. Red zone touchdowns were not good. Those two are the glaring ones, you know, and, and some of the turnover stuff happened in the red zone. So that's, that's double bad. And so that'll take points off the board and hurt your touchdown conversion. And it'll also hurt your, your, turnover deal so we got to take care of the ball we have to take care of the ball better and um, and really if we take care of the ball better everything else will probably fall into place to be honest with you but you know being more explosive on offense is is key too you know yards per play is a is a is a stat that that I track and I think we were 20 something in the nation last year in yards per play we can be in that top 10 top five you know and so we, we need to be more explosive when we get the ball in our hands Coach you Schiller. mentioned that also, uh, more explosive on media day. Um, if you could expand on a little bit more, passing, where do you envision that happening? All Maybe over. There. Just when the ball hits your hands, like get more yards. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? Yeah, but you guys were third in 20 plus yard catches last year in the ACC. That's good. But Be first. Is it the 20s, the 30s? Where do you? Where do you kind of see? Oh, I, I don't like line? statistically like that. I, I don't look at it as far as like, hey, we have to have more 30 yard gains or 20 yard gains. I look at it simply as like, hey, we got to make more plays down the field. You know, that that deal with the with the 20, 30s and 40s, you know, you a lot of that stuff is what it is. It happens in a game. But I do think the things you can get better at, like catching the ball and getting vertical quicker, like that turns into explosive plays. Running backs making the free guy miss more. Right, don't get tackled by the free guy, and so I think last year we were pretty high. I don't know the number, so I hesitate to say. But you know, yards before contact, we were like one of the top in the nation. You know, but we gotta we gotta get more at that point. Does that make sense? And so just stressing the fact that playing fast, getting up the field, and making that guy miss is is who we need to be. You know, if you want to be more explosive on offense, the plays are what they are. The touches are what they are. Like once you get the ball in the hand, you know, then, you know, make a play. Have great, have great, great ball security, get up the field and make that first guy miss. And so that's genetics a lot of times, right? It's Recruiting. Do you, do you see signs of that? Do yeah, I do. I think, I think we have the chance. I think we have a chance to be a very explosive team. You know, I think that if you look at us practice, I mean, we're making plays down the field and we're missing some, you know. It's, it's not – you know, that, that deal goes back and forth. That pendulum flies back and forth. I mean, defense, you know, we see every coverage known to man and uh, throwing the football versus those guys is challenging at times because of what they do. And so going against our defense is awesome. And, and I can't stress that enough because it, it teaches and programs a quarterback uh, to be in the pocket and to see things very clearly. You got to be precise. And so... We're lucky to, to go against those guys every day, to be honest with you, because it's challenging for the quarterback, but you grow every day. You seemed, grow every single day. It seemed like Last Horton question. took a Coach step Johnson. in the spring. Has he maintained that moment? Who's that? Isaiah Horton. Yeah, he's Through playing. These. Yeah, he's competing, man. He, you know, he sees the light, and he has that. He, he can make plays down the field. He's a big physical guy. He's strong. He's urgent. You know, I mean, you know, he's, he's, really, he's really come a long way. I'm proud of him. But again, like, keep coming, right? Keep keep stressing. Awesome. Appreciate it, guys. Thank you. Thanks, Coach.